According to the CDC director, though long term, the major study which is costly to understand nodding syndrome is a prospective cohort study which entails enrolling families suffering with nodding syndrome and following them. We have established some community surveillance to see how wide the problem is um, beyond the affected, currently affected district uh, that has been in place now. Uh, we also are doing some mortality surveillance. That was one of the problems is we also have not been able to get any good specimens. CDC is also trying out clinical trials to find out the most effective treatment regimen for the sufferers as further investigations go on. So far, 200 causes of the syndrome have been ruled out, and as the CDC investigates, the Minister of Health has been putting up treatment centers and looking into nutritional needs of the patients. Suspicions are geared toward onchocerciasis or river blindness and vitamin B6 deficiency. Meanwhile, the newly renovated lab equated to the one in CDC Atlanta will help speed up the process. Cases of hemorrhage fevers like Ebola and Marburg before have been detected based on samples sent to Atlanta and WHO Geneva, hence delaying the process of early detection, diagnosis and response or containment. But this time around, we are able to, to get the samples from the field, process them, and within turn around the time of 24 hours, we can tell whether people are infected or not. Uganda Virus Research Institute and CDC are also opening up a laboratory in Arua to control plague or animal diseases. A program has been going on to understand the ecology of plague and find ways to control it. But why is Uganda such a hub for endemic diseases that it has necessitated the construction of such a lab for national and regional referrals when other countries get suspect cases? Just because of the geographical location of Uganda, um, its ecology, its climate, it's a very good place for the, the environmental factors to contribute to these viruses um, and bacteria uh, that cause these outbreaks. After diagnosis from the lab at the UVRI campus, additional processing will always be done from different laboratories outside of the country, primarily at the Atlanta CDC laboratory. Florence Nalimba, NTV.